The annual rivalry between Auburn and Alabama goes this weekend. Auburn, a 32-point underdog. Who would have thought we would have said that after Cam Newton's national championship season? I would say Gene Chizik's, but we see how little he had to do with the national championship season. Brian Ironbull time a little anemic this year. Um, Chizik's probably going to be out as far as head coach is concerned at the end of the season. This number has jumped around a bit, by the way. It opened as high as Bama 33. I saw it as low as 31 during the week. Right now it sits at 32. Yeah, this is a true rivalry game because there's only <laughs> one team that has something to prove here because <laughs> Auburn's not going anywhere after this and Alabama back in the national championship picture I, I love this Alabama defense sure problem is I'm not sold on the offense and you know Auburn's defense has played pretty well as a late in fact only three times all season have they allowed more than uh, more, more than 28 points so when you're when you're the majority of your games you're allowing less than 28 points and the line is over 28 points, and the other offense hasn't looked that good. I think the line's a little bit inflated here. Marco, I haven't been a fan of Gene Chizik's for a long time since he was an assistant coach at Oklahoma way back when. I've seen his teams in person on a couple of different occasions when he was with Iowa State for about a hiccup or two. What was he there one season? Saw him play out here at UNLV. Now, I've seen 25 years of UNLV football, and when you say that the least disciplined football team you've ever seen mm -hmm is not UNLV and with the way they were back in the John Robinson era and before that. When you say that the Iowa State Cyclones, out of all those Rebel teams I saw, were the least disciplined football team you've ever seen in your life when it was under Gene Chizik, that's truly saying something. They are scattered on the sideline. Nobody knows what they're supposed to do next. They were making mistakes. They were arguing with the fans. Even some of the assistant coaches I was at the game at were arguing with the Rebel fans in the crowd. It's ridiculous. And he just stands there not saying a word. So I'm not a fan of his as a head coach I don't know I'm not laying 32 I'm not taking 32 in this one but I don't know how in the world he can keep his team his team focused if anything at all goes wrong during this game well agreed and we talked about that kind in you know one of the other videos when we talked about Arkansas when you've got a season that unravels like this it doesn't take much my only concern in with Alabama is if they come to play and they smell blood in the water and he doesn't want to take his foot off the gas, they could win by 50 points, sure. no problem in this game. What you've got to worry about is they've got a, a bigger deal, and that bigger deal is next week right. in the SEC championship game against Georgia because mm -hmm. right now, you know, Georgia's the team that's flying under the radar. If Georgia pulls the upset, Georgia's going to be playing in the national championship right. game no matter what happens in any of the other games this week. So this is a situation that, you know, there's no way I can take, thir you know, that I can take Auburn plus 32, but I agree with you. I can't lay it You either. know what it feels like to me in this game, guys, and, and we're going to get your pick on this one in just a minute, but it feels to me like it's never in doubt. Obviously, a 30-plus point line is pretty much telling you that. It's never in doubt, but it's 27-7, the final score, or 27-6 or so. That's kind of the way I feel. Anyway, Brian, this is your free pick. Big rivalry game here, but there's not a whole lot of interest this year with the, whole, with the whole big spread. But, you know, I'll take the points here with Auburn. Um, it's one not going to be on my card this week, but you've got a team, and Auburn's had a lot of success in Alabama. In fact, they won there just two years ago, 28 to 27. Game means a lot more to Auburn this season than it does to Alabama. Huge game on deck with Georgia. Alabama now in the driver's seat for the national championship. Impressed with the defense, not so much the offense. I'll take the points with Auburn here. Brian Leonard says take those 32 points with the Auburn Tigers go War Eagles. When we come back, we got UConn and Louisville. It's a pick from Marco. That's coming up next right here at pregame.tv.